Before we begin, just a quick disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only. If you are experiencing symptoms of ADHD, it's best to see a professional for a diagnosis. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of inattentive ADHD. It's time to uncover the ins and outs of this unique type of ADHD. So let's get started. Inattentive ADHD Overview Inattentive ADHD is one of the three types of ADHD, along with hyperactive impulsive and combined types. As the name suggests, this type is mainly characterized by symptoms of inattention rather than hyperactivity or impulsivity. Those with inattentive ADHD often find it challenging to maintain focus, follow instructions, and stay organized. Symptoms of inattentive ADHD. The symptoms of inattentive ADHD can vary from person to person. Some common signs include difficulty paying close attention to details, leading to mistakes in schoolwork or other tasks. Trouble sustaining attention during tasks or play activities. Appearing not to listen when spoken to directly. Struggling to follow through on instructions and failing to finish tasks. Difficulty organizing tasks and activities. Avoiding or disliking tasks that require sustained mental effort. Frequently losing items needed for tasks or activities. Easily distractible. Forgetful in daily activities. Just like with other ADHD types, these symptoms must be present for at least six months and cause significant impairment in daily functioning for a diagnosis to be made. How is inattentive ADHD diagnosed? To be diagnosed with inattentive ADHD, a child under the age of 17 must present at least six of the symptoms we just discussed while individuals age 17 and older must exhibit at least five symptoms. A mental health professional will assess these symptoms and the impact they have on daily life to make an accurate diagnosis. They may also ask about any medical history and family history of ADHD or other mental health disorders. Inattentive ADHD in women and girls. Interestingly, Inattentive ADHD is more commonly diagnosed in those who identify as female. It's important to note that this doesn't mean that only women experience inattentive ADHD, but rather that it may manifest differently in women compared to men. As a result, inattentive ADHD is sometimes underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed in women and girls, making it essential to be aware of these gender differences. Masking inattentive ADHD traits. Now, Let's talk about an interesting aspect of inattentive ADHD, masking or hiding the traits. Masking is a term used to describe the process of concealing or suppressing symptoms in order to fit in or meet societal expectations. People with inattentive ADHD may develop various coping mechanisms to hide their symptoms from others, often out of fear of being judged or misunderstood. Some ways people with inattentive ADHD may mask their traits include overcompensating. They might work extra hard to stay organized, pay attention, or complete tasks to avoid drawing attention to their difficulties. Mimicking others. By observing and imitating the behavior of peers or colleagues, they try to blend in and minimize the visibility of their symptoms. Avoidance. They might avoid situations where their inattentiveness could be exposed, such as group activities, public speaking, or tasks requiring sustained focus. Relying on others. In some cases, individuals with inattentive ADHD may rely heavily on friends, family, or partners to help them stay organized and manage daily tasks. It's important to note that masking can be exhausting and detrimental to mental health in the long run. Seeking appropriate treatment and support is crucial for individuals with inattentive ADHD to effectively manage their symptoms and lead fulfilling lives. Supporting someone with inattentive ADHD. If you know someone with inattentive ADHD, it's essential to be patient and understanding. Offer encouragement help them stay organized, and be a good listener. 
Remember that ADHD is not a choice. It's a neurodevelopmental disorder, and those living with it face unique challenges. By showing your support and fostering a positive environment, you can make a significant difference in their lives. Conclusion. So there you have it. We've covered the basics of inattentive ADHD, its symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and how to support someone with this condition. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding this type of ADHD can lead to better support and improved quality of life for those affected. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.